Prayer Circle. It's time for Prayer Circle. And Prayer Circle is a time to bring the needs of different listeners before the Lord in prayer so that we can see Him answer. Please pray along with me. And Father, we thank you for this Wednesday, middle of the week. Lord, you've taken us this far. You will take us the rest of the way. Those cares of life maybe have piled up. We don't want to be worried about yesterday or tomorrow. Don't want to worry today. Lord, help us just to clear everything away. Focus on you today. Realign ourselves with you and your purposes for our lives. Lord, show us how to live for you today, how to be salt and light, to point to you in every situation. Lord, as you point out, to us, things that we need to change, Lord, ways we need to be closer to you. Help us to have obedient hearts today. Fill us afresh with your spirit, Lord. We thank you for this day and we commit it to you. And praying our 30 days of prayer for the nation, today's prayer, Lord, I pray over a fair and accurate election. And Lord, we do ask for that. No election interference, no ballot stuffing, troubled by these uh, arsons in ballot boxes here the last couple of days. Lord, we just pray for protection for our election process and keep people cool-headed. And Lord, we just pray for fairness. The world's preeminent democracy, we want to stay that way, Lord, with fair elections. Show us all how to contribute positively toward this. Of course, praying for our country, continued relief for those affected by hurricanes in the southeast, different problems in our country. Lord, we pray for unity. The Middle East always asking for peace in Jerusalem and Ukraine. Also praying specifically, first of all, for an eight-year-old daughter. She struggles with autism and some physical problems. And... uh, So much so that she had to go to the hospital a few times recently for various physical issues. Lord, we pray you'd give this family wisdom on how to help their daughter. We pray that uh, she will stabilize with her physical issues. And Lord, that uh, she can have a long life for you. And just give these parents wisdom on how best to help her. Also, a single mom been raising her children while living with her parents in their basement. Uh, glad that they have a place to be, but it's just not ideal. Lord, we pray that you'd help this mom to get her own place and be able to move forward with her life. Actually, I guess she's not a single mom. She They're married, but uh, living with her parents, her and her husband, we just pray that they can afford to get on their own. Lord, we pray you'd make a way for that for their little family. Also praying for a 16-year-old niece. This girl's had some problems, uh, exploited. Uh, The perpetrator of her exploitation was jailed but is now out. Just praying for for protection for this uh, niece. Lord, we pray you'd protect her, help her to be vigilant in uh, noticing what's going on around her and just protect her from more violence. And also praying for a daughter after her surgery, Lord, we pray that uh, you'd help her to recover completely, having issues with her car as well. We pray that car can recover and you get her back on track, Lord, and just bless her life. And we ask for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.